Hello everybody and welcome back to Kate Plays Phantom Brigade. And today the war in Momland is nearly won. I'm just gonna go stick the landing and save the homies. Cause that is what we do. So we're gonna suit up, we're gonna drop in hot and hostile. And we're gonna do as much damage as we can feasibly do in the shortest span of time. Guess we're gonna roll with the whole B team today because all the A team mechs are on recovery right now. Which means we'll take Mia in the Valkyrie. We will take Silja in the Riot. Then instead of Devon, we will take Agnes. In the nightmare, I did some upgrades to the nightmare that I didn't really cover, uh, and I'm gonna let y'all find out. But it's gonna be gross and very funny. This is the ugly bastard as he stands right now. You can see he's carrying some significant weaponries. Let's uh let's go find out if those weaponries are as are as cool as I think they are. And at the same time, save the homies. You gotta save the homies, man. That's what it's all about. That's why we're fighting this war, by God. I love these sweeping environment shots. Oh sh fuck shit. Is that a railgun? Is that a railgun? Is that bastard carrying a railgun? Because if he's carrying a railgun... Oh, yeah, that's an RA-2, I'm pretty sure. That guy's carrying a machine gun, which is, an, is a meager MG-1. He's carrying an MG-3. He's carrying an Astra... The tank is a shotgun, so probably an SG-1. And this shotgun... Probably also an SG-1, but it'll be hard to tell until he fires. That's, uh, that's a lot of mans. And I brought the B-team. <laughs> um, this may get fun. Right, what is happening here? You are carrying a marksman rifle? Okay, I'm, I'm kind of digging that. Because that way you can stand right there and uh, not get shooted. Not getting shooted. Cool things for cool people. Because if you run this way, you're for sure going to get shooted. But what if you stand there? Well, then he's just going to hit a whole bunch of that rocky outcrop with his machine gun. And while he is distracted, I will punch him in the genitalia. This is known to be a particularly uh, a particularly safe tactic in most theaters of war. Make them look the wrong way, and when they get distracted, punch them in the knob. It's proper funny. If you don't think it is, it's because you're wrong. Two sniper shots going straight into that guy. No, viewers, I don't know what I'm talking about either. Here's the secret. I never really do. That's actually not a secret. I've told you all this on many an episode. Quite often, the first I hear about whatever it was I was going on about is while I was editing afterwards. True facts, no lie. Let's send some missiles at the crawler. Because I did a thing... And it now runs a, a tier 3 large payload mod. Which I think is hella funny. Because when boom, why not bigger boom? Alright, we're going to run over to here. Right about there, we open up with L Shotty. Just, just introduce these 
soldiers of fortune to the concept of the blicky. All right. You are going to have to just scoot slightly forward to avoid that collision. And the riot, I'm fully aware. But the nightmare, you're going to have to step forward just a minute as well. The riot, I will move separately. I'm aware that still shows. All right. Back to Operation Blicky. Oh, it runs so hot, though. Oh, boy, that gun runs hotter than sin. Oh, does the curve fire tracer? Those rounds are tracking. Oh, fuck. We're going to have so much fun. Hi. I'm shooting what is technically a direct fire weapon, but I can shoot it over stuff at you in a guided fashion. You mad, though? And what if we just had you run down here and really just overkill the shit out of this thing? Yep, that's that's uh, that's an absolute drill into the soul right there. And Dean, oh yeah, no, Lars, you're already doing a thing. Do I do I maybe feel like I could spread that damage out a little bit more? No, I just really want to confirm kills today. That's that's what I want to do. That's what I believe in. I almost didn't see that this shot is occurring. What is it a shot from? It is an MG Hurricane at 8 efficacy. Why would you even fire, bruh? Just go, like, back here. And then even mow back here. And then that shot becomes even worse. It gets down to 5. I can take 5% damage off of a fucking... I oh, still colliding. Stop running into each other, you bloody, bloody, bloody fools. Or you really will be bloody fools when you die. Because you crashed. Because you ran into each other. Because I ordered you to. <laughs> because I'm bad at games. There. I accept responsibility for it. Alright, the missiles are away. Oh, that plasma repeater not doing the work I hoped it would. But the man catching the blick. Oh, that. What a shot that is. I hope I got that to where I can thumbnail it, because that is gorgeous. All right, where are the shots? He's going to... Uh, it appears like he's going to do one and shoot back over his shoulder with his AR-1. I, however, would largely prefer that he don't. And as such, I will strike him repeatedly with ordnance. This is effective com uh, conflict resolution. Anybody says it's not, they are a liar and a dandy. Alright, I feel like this guy moved. I'm going to replay that because I want to see where all the missiles went. They went out like this. They came in... They really didn't track. What is going on there? They did not follow in. There's zero tracking on those missiles at all. Was was I outside of effective range and thus didn't get a true lock when I did that? Is that maybe what occurred? Am I, in fact, just incredibly dumb and not observant? Shut up, viewer. Don't agree with me too quickly now. So, homies, you are still getting shot at by this douche nugget rolling in this way. He's shooting with an SG-1 auto, and he's not going to hit you. Him not being able to hit you does sort of fill me with joy. 
Because it means he's going to run through the firing arcs of your uh, your buddies in the tanks. Who will be hard at work shooting the fuck out of them. Ooh, that guy got wrecked though. Sweet. That was what I wanted. Okay. So let's fire at this guy as we back off. It stays fairly optimal for most of that firing cycle. And then let's fire at this guy. Meanwhile, Snizyper Resifle. Uh, go ahead and shoot that guy right there. As a target of opportunity while he's running away. There are no rules in a war for one's homeland, and shooting a man in the back is how we're going to conduct ourselves. If they didn't like it, they shouldn't have invaded where I lived. Dickheads. Right. Let's get you out of there a little bit. And maybe let's see if we can pop you. Oh, skyline yourself on top of this building. That'll be funny as heck. What are you going to shoot with? What are you What are you going to do? Oh, you with the asterisk. So if I turn my back on you, I'm just going to get shot in the back. So why don't I uh, stand there like an absolute lemon and tear him apart with shotgun and also submachine gun? Really, any kind of gun will do it. So I think we may be able to reduce his uh, total potential damage output. His TPD, as they say. And then let's fire... No, that's that's blocked. Okay, it tracks, but only when it wants to. Unuse you all. Or is it just that it's blocked by his buddy's big dumb head? Is that what's going on here? That may be what's going on here. Let's fire the shot and hope the tracking just brings it home. I'm an optimistic soul. No one can say el elsewise. I truly believe in standing still taking shots and just... And just unloading as much ammunition as is, like, relatively feasible. But we're gonna, we're gonna put some heart out there today. They're just suppressing this, uh, this home guard walker right here. Which I assume is just a Subasa chassis. It's, uh, oh, it's a shit mix. It's Subasa arms and legs, but it's using an arrow light torso. Go figure. For those of you who've been following this series, will understand why that's a bit weird. Everybody else is probably wondering what I'm talking about. Like I am. All right, nightmare just eating damage. There was a concussion there, but it turned into a death. Ooh, nearly took his legs out from under him though. Saucy. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Have I hit a single shot with this plasma repeater? This doesn't show damage numbers, does it? The shots are just like circling around the guy. And that was a three part miss. One of them is one of the projectiles is still in the air. Uh, but I don't know that it's ever going to get there. All right, back to the back to the turn at hand. No one's firing at the Valkyrie. Well, there's a reason I keep the Valkyrie carrying a short saber. When can we when can we get that attack off and still stay cold? It's there. All right, so let's go here and then wait. Wait until he's fully cold like this, then we should be able to melee and only just kind of, only just kind of take a little bit of heat right on the end of the turn. 
bang in like that. And then let's run away. While firing missiles. No, too damn hot for firing missiles after that melee attack. All right, all right, all right. Melee attacks build up a lot of heat. There's not a lot we can do about that. But what we can do is attack with other things. For we have the fabled strategic advantage known as more than one gun. Many, uh, many great military victories in, in history have been, have been won with the application of the principle of having way more than one gun. It's time tested. It's proven. It's reliable. Just have lots of guns. And ideally lots of mans, but you need the mans to operate the guns, you see. That being largely how war operates. Does this get you out of collision radius? Yes, it does. And then let's just back you way up here. You're aiming to end up here so you can snipe into the pile. This guy is still standing, albeit barely. Yes, that was a joke relating to the damage numbers currently afflicting his leg part. So let's run up here with our shield up. And just eat some direct fire for a second. Do we, do, do we go two, two blocks of shield? I think I can get I think I can get an attack out and then raise the shield again. The whole time, however, we are going to be bombarding him with a shotgun from the next outcrop over. And I am going to have the nightmare target the guy in the back. And just see if we can land a hit and figure out what this PLR curve actually does. And you know what we're going to do on top of that? We're also going to, we're going to wait until we're right after that first shot. And we're going to try and reposition for the second one and get it more in optimal. So the, fir the, the shot will go off pretty terribly, but it'll get better after that. All right, you just back up onto this hill to about there. And you're going to have a sterling opportunity to shoot this man in the back. The gun will go a blau blau, blau blau blau. It's going to do it if you don't believe me. Just watch. So I only need to get out of the way until there. So if I wait a second and then... No, popping out a little bit too early. Wait an additional 0.6 seconds. And then we step up here. We might be able to get quite a, a spicy shot off. That guy's going to take two... Level 12 marksman rifle, full action sets of shots in the back as he runs away. Let this be a lesson to you, O oh viewers of Kate Place. It is a lesson about the follies of cowardice. Just don't. Alright, over here. Shots are going into the shield, that is okay. The shield will repair. Here comes the shotgun. Did his shot go off? Did I even stack a shot for him? Oh, I did. Yeah, it went right there. Just a little single. I, I guess I'm used to like throwing a bunch of actions in a row with him. All right. I'll replay in a second. But right now I want to go chonk this guy in the face. Bonk. And then we will step back. Because he's not going to be standing up at that point. 
I'm aware I need to move that shield action. We're going to run up about there. So we'll just go bink and he'll get knocked out of the way. We will have the riot stand by on top of the thing. The shot that's never coming will be effectively evaded by the remaining part of my shield run here. And then he's going to get binked, plonked on the ground, and blasted. That's funny. Alright, what what is occurring here? So the nightmare fired this shot that looks like it deadass missed. Might have taken some damage from the... Uh, might have taken some damage from the uh, missile. It looked like an errant missile, but like the large payload mod gives them such high damage. Valkyrie got in there with that saber and crashed two of them. Oh, what a turn. Melee is powerful if you use it right. And painful if you use it wrong. Like me, mainly. Not very good. All right. Marksman rifle, marksman rifle, and the sniper's way back here. Is anything in your optimal? No, you just need to get further back, eh? So what if you go, like, all the way back to, like, the retreat zone and you just sit there and, and take proper dodgy sniping shots? All right, where are the shots? That's what I want to know. They're all at home guard number two? You ought to get out of there, bruh. They are trying to kill you, son. That's okay, though. It opens them up to further being shot at by marksman rifles. And then you're going to be all tripping over each other and all this kind of shit. So let's just rack some shots off and like, frankly, I don't particularly care what they hit. Which as a strategist should concern people. As a Cade, don't worry about it. I definitely might know what I'm doing. It would be unwise to imply otherwise. Just believe me, fam. Trust it. Just trust it, fam. Get back, throw some more missiles around, dump a bunch more funny, funny damage onto the fellows. See if we can fire this uh, fire this curve a little bit more. Now we've got some stationary targets or near stationary targets that we can fire it. That thing is hot, hard to hit with and doesn't do a ton of damage. That's getting swapped out. Like that's, look at that. That's like 1300 damage. 20 concussions good, but 1300 damage per action on an action duration of one second with an optimal interval of 2.2 is not by any means acceptable. All right. This. We want to see this shield bash. The rest of that shot goes into the shield, and then he just is like... Bink! Oh, that guy's having such a bad day! Oh, he's... Proper fucked. All right. And then let's look at... Battle group the other side. Oh, did that, did that plasma bolt actually hit? Let's play this at the slowest possible speed. It comes in. What the hell happened there? Did y'all see this? He stands up. Does a does a weird like cheerleader high jump eats a plasma bolt in what would be the kidney on a human being and then what falls back down again because he's concussed now <laughs> that's fucking fantastic no the homies the homie 
How could you do it? Yes, Home Guardsman, please eject from your machine. I fully support that decision. That's the smartest auto turn you've ever attempted to execute before being stopped by me. All right, you are going to go over here and, and you are going to uh, sling a high volume of ammunition in the direction of that bastard whose fault it probably is. That tank is about to get buried under missiles. Like, it will take future archaeologists an incredibly long time to unbury that thing from the amount of missile that it is under. Let's add more missiles to the mix. I feel like we may be firing an insufficient amount thereof. Plus, we can stand behind this rocky outcrop, block a shot, and return fire, and that will be, as I'm so fond of saying, really funny. Also, sniper rifles. Blicky. And then can we get him once on his way back? We can get him there at uh, 68. Well, so, all right, let's just wait past our first shot and then see if we can reposition just a touch further back. Can we get that second shot to land? Can we hit it from there? Yes, that's within optimal at 85. Saucy. All right, the riot is going to be your job to continue shooting that chap. Oh, wow. Managed to draw a line right through him. So, why don't you just, like, step over here, maybe? You gonna eject? Are you gonna eject? You're not gonna fight back. You might eject. You've got a handgun, and if you try and fire it, I'll fucking erase you. Don't. Just don't. That's assuming the rest of the shots out of this barrel, right? The shotgun action don't just make the kill, which, frankly, they probably will. Damn, long-range weapons can be tricky sometimes. It can be tricky to get far enough back for a shot to be optimal. Oh, and he's just going to stand there after that. No, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, what I want to do with you. There's a stationary target right there. If you could hit anything on, on, on God's green earth, it should be that. So I'm going to have you run over to here. And the fire burst. That will still probably be in transit at the start of the next turn, but yeah, no. Probably not worth worrying about. Alright, you're running, you're repositioning and shooting, you're st standing vigil over a man whose death is inevitable. You are gonna run to the left and fire at a stationary target and likely still miss. You're ejecting. You're giving some shots in the kidneys, and you are doing also that. Let's have it. Oh yeah, he's toast. He's unconscious. Missiles. The plasma is... The plasma is in flight. Do I see if we can let that land and what it'll do? Oh, no, we concussed him too. Lot of concussions here. I sound like an NFL critic. That's good, though, because it gives us really tasty salvage. And by tasty, I mean crap. Now I see the list. Yeah, we got to repair his mech, man. Like, There's nothing I actually need that badly, quite honestly. I'll just take all the blue shit. You know what? I might take these arms. Not taking that SG-1. Unless it's... Expanded Magazine and Precision 2. Both fused, though. Like, I'm good for that. And you know what? I'll take this Astro for my own amusement. Uh, These... I don't know. The Bind Legs. Do I take the Michael Bind Legs? 
Oh, that would have been a very embarrassing error had I made it. Uh, let's take off one of these and we're good. And then we can still melt that. All right, cool. Not the best hole in the world, but we have liberated the Provence. So to celebrate this complete victory, the invaders having slunk away with their tails between their legs, as thus described, we're going to celebrate all pilots get a night off. They get to get some booze out of the booze stash I keep in the base because I'm a respons responsible military commander. For the next nine hours, that is all they're going to do. Recovering to full strength. And the best part of the celebrations are the inaugural words. I have been Cade. This has been Phantom Brigade. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>